I'm sure Fetty could still get 20000 a show, but that ain't enough for the lifestyle he created. Can't keep up. All right, Kirby, what do you think on that clip that he just mentioned? I believe that is the epitome of finance. It's, it's not about how much you make. It's about what you do with the money. It's not about how much you spending on something or how much money you're making because if you have expenses that exceed what you're making, you're still broke, no matter what the number is. So with all that being said, Alex, stop the video. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to Fast Money Playing. My name is Alex. That's Kirby. Um, but yeah, I agree 100%. Um, I know a few people that they make decent income, um, but maybe because of the area that they live in, the state that they live in, the, ch the lifestyle that they choose to have, the car they choose to have, going out to eat every day, they still live, you know, right at their income or above their income. I mean, if I mean, if I just stuck to the celebrity side and you stuck to the personal side, but if you that's fine. It, but let's go with celebrities in general. I mean, the average time, this is the average, the average of somebody leaving the NFL 69% of them file bankruptcy within five years. Let me make millions, hundreds of millions. I mean, it's well-documented stories on athletes making X amount of money and they're losing it. And then, of course, to the layman, somebody who's making you know, $15, $20 an hour, they're like, how can they make all that money and lose it? It's easy. It's easy to do it. Like, like in that video, the gentleman said the guy's expenses, even though that he's making $20,000 a show, the expenses or the lifestyle that he's created, $20,000 a show, doesn't cover. I mean, when you think about athletes, they are taking care of their mom, brothers, sisters, dads, uncles, all those bills on a monthly basis. Then they have their entourage and they're, you know, on their homies and they go out shopping, they go out partying, they go out clubbing. They're taking care of all of that stuff. And then so they have to, those expenses keep rising. And of course, none of these other people in their surrounding or in their circle is generating money. So it all falls on that person who's making it. So let's say his first contract, he makes, you know, he gets a big, well, his rookie contract is mad. Then he gets a, a big deal. He has to keep performing at a higher or higher level to keep getting bigger contracts because his expenses are going to keep rising with the money he's making. So whenever he falls off, and I'm not, I'm, I'm really not, Trying to pick on any professional athlete, and um, but everybody know athletes who had you know peak two or three years, and then they fell off, and then they signed a venture minimum contract and stuff like that. When they get those venture minimum contracts, you know, like the Dwight Howards and stuff like that. I'm just saying his name, not picking on his uh, athletic ability. Just contracts that they receive, you know, venture minimum contracts. When you're, you know, most of your your career, you've been making. 15, 20 million dollars a year. Now you're making a venture minimum of a million dollars. They didn't bring the expenses down from when they was making 20 million a year to making 1 million a year. They still got 20 million dollar a year expenses. And that's how they keep blowing through the money. There's no amount of money that you can make that the world can't give you a place to spend it. And that is the key. And people don't understand it. It's, you can make trillion dollars, but it's a place to spend a trillion dollars. So that's that's my view on it. No, that's a good point. Um, I think you cleared up the video with all that because I, I don't have much to say. I mean, I, I could speak from the personal part. I don't really follow uh, sports, as you know, but um, knowing knowing people in my life, um, I've seen it firsthand with just society itself. Uh, people make a certain amount of income and they're they're too focused on the gross amount that they're bringing in. When the gross amount doesn't mean anything, it's your net amount. That's what you're keeping is the most important part. It's not how much you're making. And and that's how and that's how the cycle continues. And then people just sit there. Of course, everybody wanted Monday morning quarterback, everybody else's life. Well, how did they do that? But they just don't understand how money works. You know, Antoine Walker, he even have a class and stuff like that. He teach other uh you know, people, veterans, financial literacy, you know, how I blew the bag. I mean, it's millions, it's millions of athletes. I mean, I'm saying millions. Of athletes. It's hundreds of thousands of athletes out there that made a lot of money in their lifetime. And the layman, you know, the regular everyday person said, if I had that amount of money, 
uh, I can retire and live on the beach. But this has happened over and over and over again. And I think a lot has to do with, you know, a lot of people don't have financial literacy. They think, you know, a million dollars could last you forever. A million dollars could last to the end of the month. <laughs> I mean, the cost is so high now. I mean, if you don't know what you're doing with it, it might last you a month or two. It ain't going to last you years. I know people think it will. It won't last you years because you're, you'll just give it away. Unknowingly, you'll be giving away because you buy stuff that you normally wouldn't buy. You wouldn't live the same life you're living now if you had a million dollars. If somebody just handed you a million dollars today, you wouldn't still live off of fifteen dollars an hour paycheck. You wouldn't. You're going to upgrade everything. Upgrade your living conditions. Upgrade your driving conditions. Upgrade your eating conditions. It ain't no more McDonald's now. It's you know, I mean, Alex, you will always be. You, you won't even eat me now. <laughs> you you below that. You you yeah, definitely the, eat in the back of the restaurant almost about to expire. But for everybody else, you know, all that stuff is going to elevate. All this stuff is going to elevate. And then while they elevate and improving their lives, the cost is going to get higher and the money is going to go faster. That's just what it is. I mean, we we talk about it and uh, and we'll talk about it in another video, but I want to tell you about this conversation I had last night, but we'll talk about it in another video. All right. Well, guys, with all that being said, if you like the video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Any questions, let us know down below. Subscribe. Don't forget to share and we'll see you guys in the next video.